Every day, we trust our smartphones implicitly. We rely on them for everything from staying connected with loved ones to managing our finances and navigating our daily lives. We entrust them with our most private information, our contacts, our messages, our photos, our banking details. But what if I told you there's a decades-old flaw, a hidden vulnerability in the very network that connects your phone to the world? the network that's supposed to keep your data safe. This isn't about a sketchy app you accidentally downloaded or a cleverly disguised phishing scam designed to trick you. This is a fundamental vulnerability built into the core of global mobile communications, a weakness at the heart of how our phones connect to each other across the planet. It's called SS7, or signaling system number seven. And this vulnerability could potentially let someone, somewhere, listen to your private phone calls eavesdropping without your knowledge. It could allow them to read your private texts, accessing sensitive information you thought was secure. And even more alarmingly, it could enable them to track your precise location, pinpointing where you are at any given moment. All of this could happen silently, without you ever knowing that your privacy has been compromised. Unlike typical hacks that leave traces, there are absolutely no warning signs to alert you. Your phone continues to work perfectly normally, displaying no indication of any intrusion. All the while, someone, somewhere with the right tools and knowledge could be silently intercepting everything you do on your phone. There's no malware to detect, no suspicious links to avoid clicking on. It's just silent, unauthorized access gained through a network that was originally built on a foundation of trust. A trust that, unfortunately, no longer exists in today's digital landscape. Imagine you're waiting for that crucial two-factor authentication code from your bank, the one you need to access your account. With this SS7 flaw, a malicious attacker could intercept that very code. They could potentially get that code at the exact same time as you do, or even intercept it a split second before it even reaches your phone. With that code in hand, they could drain your bank account, transfer funds without your permission, or hijack your other online accounts. And tragically, you'd likely have absolutely no idea that anything was amiss until it's far too late to do anything about it. This isn't just a theoretical possibility or a hypothetical scenario. It's a vulnerability that has been actively exploited in the real world, used to spy on journalists and human rights activists to steal vast sums of money from unsuspecting individuals and financial institutions and to track the movements of people across the globe, often without their knowledge or consent. So the crucial question is, what exactly is SS7, and why is it so vulnerable? Think of SS7 as the intricate nervous system of the entire global phone network. It's the complex system that handles all the essential, behind-the-scenes tasks that allow your phone to function seamlessly. Every time you make a phone call to a friend or family member or send a text message to a colleague, or even simply move from one location to another, triggering a change in cell towers, SS7 is the system that diligently tells the network precisely where you are located and how to efficiently connect you to the person you're trying to reach. But here's the critical point. SS7 was originally designed and implemented for a completely different era of telecommunications. It was a time when trust between networks was implicitly assumed and robust security measures were unfortunately considered an afterthought, a secondary concern. And that fundamental lack of security is precisely what makes SS7 so incredibly dangerous and exploitable in today's interconnected world. The flaw itself is essentially invisible to the average user, but the potential threat it poses is very real and substantial. Therefore, if you genuinely care about your digital security and the privacy of your personal information, you absolutely need to understand the implications of SS7. So let's dive in and explore the inner workings of SS7 and uncover why this decades-old protocol remains a significant security risk in the 21st century. SS7, or signaling system number 7, is a foundational set of protocols. Think of it as the unseen language that allows different parts of the telephone network to communicate and coordinate with each other. It's the backbone that lets telephone networks talk to each other seamlessly, regardless of their location or the technology they use. Developed in the 1970s when technology was far less complex and interconnected than it is today, it was designed for a world where only a few large, trusted telecom giants existed, operating within well-defined boundaries. The threat landscape was simply not what it is today. SS7 handles the crucial signaling functions, the underlying instructions that set up calls, connecting you to the person you're trying to reach, 
It also manages how we route texts, ensuring your messages get to their intended recipient. And it's even involved in how telecom companies manage billing and charge you for the services you use. Back then, security wasn't a primary concern or even an afterthought in many cases. The system was built on the assumption that anyone operating on the network was inherently trustworthy and had good intentions. There were virtually no firewalls, no multi-factor authentication, just a system of blind trust where everyone was expected to play by the rules. If a command came in from a recognized source, the network obeyed without hesitation, no questions asked, no verification required. Fast forward to today to a completely different landscape. The telecom world is now a sprawling, interconnected web of thousands upon thousands of providers, big and small, operating across the globe. The rise of the internet has made SS7 access far easier and cheaper than ever before, and the old walled garden approach to security is long gone, replaced by a much more open and vulnerable system. Now, anyone with the right access, and sometimes even those without legitimate access, can send powerful commands across the entire global network, potentially impacting millions of users. The result of all this? A protocol that was originally built for trust and cooperation is now a massive liability, a gaping security hole in the global telecommunications infrastructure. Malicious actors and hackers are actively exploiting this fundamental mismatch, using SS7 vulnerabilities to track your location, intercept your private communications, and even hijack communications on a global scale, causing widespread disruption and potential harm. The core flaw isn't just a technical glitch or a software bug. It's a fundamental design problem, a flaw in the very architecture of the system. SS7's underlying trust model is fundamentally broken and outdated, and that's precisely what makes it such a persistent and dangerous threat to our modern communications infrastructure. So let's delve deeper and see how this inherent flaw became such a widespread and global problem. The telecom industry exploded from a handful of trusted carriers to thousands of operators worldwide. To compete, everyone needed SS7 access, tearing down the old walled garden. Suddenly, a vulnerability in one small network could expose the entire global system. Then came commercial SS7 access. Companies started selling it for legitimate services like bulk SMS, but also to anyone willing to pay. For a few thousand dollars, an attacker can rent SS7 access and send commands to networks worldwide. They don't need to hack a major carrier, just find the weakest link. This democratized access turned a theoretical flaw into a real-world weapon. What was once the domain of intelligence agencies is now available to criminals and private investigators. The protocol never evolved to handle this new reality. The result? A global network running on broken trust. With SS7 access, attackers can do three main things. Track your location, intercept your calls and texts, and hijack your accounts. First, location tracking. By querying the network, attackers can pinpoint your phone's location in real time. No app or malware needed. Second, interception. They can redirect your calls and texts, listening in or reading messages as they arrive, including two-factor authentication codes. Third, account hijacking. By intercepting SMS codes, Attackers can take over your bank, email, or messaging accounts. They can even block your service, cutting you off from calls and texts. These attacks have been used to empty bank accounts and spy on high-profile targets. Even encrypted messaging apps are at risk if your phone number is compromised. SS7 is the skeleton key to your digital life. The scariest part? You'll never know it's happening. The flaw is silent, but the consequences are devastating. This is why SS7 is considered one of the most dangerous vulnerabilities in modern communications. Let's talk about why 5G hasn't solved this problem. You might think 5G solves this, but the reality is more complicated. Even the newest 5G phones must connect with older 3G and 4G networks for calls and texts. That means SS7 is still in use, even on the latest devices. 5G has a more secure protocol, but as soon as your data crosses into older networks, it's exposed to SS7 vulnerabilities. Attackers don't care what phone you have. They target the network infrastructure. Some carriers have added firewalls, but protection is inconsistent worldwide. The transition away from SS7 is slow and requires global cooperation. Until every carrier upgrades, the risk remains. One weak link is all it takes. For now, SS7 is still a threat, no matter how new your phone is. SS7 attacks aren't just a theoretical concern confined to research papers and hypothetical scenarios. 
They've moved beyond the realm of possibility and have caused real, tangible damage to individuals and organizations alike. The consequences can be devastating, ranging from financial losses to severe privacy breaches. In 2017, criminals in Germany demonstrated the real-world impact of these vulnerabilities. They exploited SS7 to bypass SMS two-factor authentication, a security measure many rely on to protect their accounts. This allowed them to gain unauthorized access and drain bank accounts, leaving victims financially vulnerable. The attackers initiated their scheme by using phishing techniques to steal login credentials. Then they leveraged the SS7 vulnerability to redirect SMS codes, those one-time passwords, to their own phones. This enabled them to complete fraudulent transfers, moving money out of victims' accounts without their knowledge or consent, all while victims slept soundly, completely unaware of the digital heist taking place. And it's not just ordinary citizens who are at risk. High-profile individuals have been targeted too, making them vulnerable to surveillance and data breaches. In a revealing TV experiment, researchers demonstrated the ease of exploitation by using only a congressman's publicly available phone number. They were able to record his calls, highlighting the potential for eavesdropping and privacy invasion. Furthermore, they could track his movements in real time, raising serious concerns about personal security. And the scariest part? No sophisticated hacking skills were required to carry out these actions, even secure messaging apps, the ones we trust to protect our communications like Telegram and Signal, aren't immune. They can be compromised through SS7 vulnerabilities. This happens if attackers intercept the SMS codes used to register new devices, effectively hijacking your account. In some countries with oppressive regimes, activists and journalists, those who rely on secure communication the most, have had their accounts hijacked this way, silencing their voices and endangering their safety. The implications of this flaw extend far beyond mere financial loss. It's fundamentally about privacy, the right to control your personal data and communications. It's about safety, ensuring your physical well-being isn't compromised. And it's about trust, the foundation of our digital interactions. SS7 attacks can undermine even the most secure apps, creating a false sense of security. All it takes is for your phone number to be exposed and you become a potential target. The threat is real. It's not a hypothetical scenario or a distant possibility. And it's happening now, with attackers actively exploiting these vulnerabilities. So what can you do to protect yourself in this increasingly vulnerable digital landscape? Let's talk about SMS codes, those seemingly convenient verification methods, and delve into why they're not as safe and reliable as you might think, exposing the inherent risks associated with this common security practice. Here's what you need to know to stay safe and secure in a world where your phone number can be your biggest vulnerability. Two-factor authentication is essential, but SMS codes are vulnerable. SS7 flaws mean attackers can intercept those codes without touching your phone. SIM swap attacks are another risk. Fraudsters trick your carrier into transferring your number to their SIM card. Once they control your number, they get all your calls and texts, including two FA codes. The solution? Use an authenticator app like Google Authenticator or Authy. These apps generate codes on your device, never sending them over the vulnerable SMS network. Switching to app-based 2FA is one of the best ways to secure your accounts. Don't rely on SMS for your most sensitive logins. You can't fix SS7, but you can protect yourself. First, switch your accounts to app-based two-factor authentication. For sensitive conversations, use end-to-end -end encrypted apps like Signal or WhatsApp. Secure your accounts with strong, unique passwords managed by a password manager. Avoid unsecured public Wi-Fi or use a reputable VPN to encrypt your traffic. Regularly review your account security settings and check for unfamiliar logins. Layer your defenses, strong passwords, app-based 2FA encrypted messaging and VPNs. No single solution is perfect, but together, they make you a much harder target. Take these steps now. Don't wait for the industry to catch up. Your digital security is in your hands. Let's talk about why this responsibility matters. The telecom industry is slow to change, but we don't have to wait. By choosing secure tools, authenticator apps, encrypted messaging, we opt out of vulnerable systems. Our choices create a ripple effect, pushing the industry to do better. Share what you've learned. Help friends and family set up stronger security. The more people know, the safer we all become. Treat your digital security like your physical security. Don't leave the door unlocked. The invisible threats are the most dangerous because they go unnoticed. By understanding SS7 and taking action, we protect ourselves and send a message that security matters. Real change starts with us. 
Stay vigilant, stay informed, and help others do the same. Thanks for watching, and take your security seriously. Subscribe for more on Tech That Matters. See you next time.